After Ukraine pushed the Russian fleet out of the Black Sea, Russia is trying to use mines to limit or stop Ukrainian grain exports. In doing so, the Russians are using drifting mines, which violates international law and could trigger a full-scale conflict with NATO, writes Royal Navy officer Tom Sharp in an article for The Telegraph. According to Sharp, mines are the simplest and some of the most effective seagoing weapons. The reason mines are ubiquitous is because they are cheap, easy to make, easy to deploy and hard to counter. Enemies like Iran and Russia deploy mines freely, including purpose-designed, long-lived drifters, deny they've done it and then watch the results come in from a safe distance, the expert writes. According to the expert, some navies, particularly European ones, have effective MCM forces, but many do not. This is one of the areas in which the US is surprisingly weak. The larger the area and the lower the risk desired, the longer it takes, with the same required rising exponentially as you approach complete safety. Mines on land are dangerous too, but at least there, once you have cleared an area, it remains cleared. At sea, this is not the case, he explains. So far in the Black Sea, mine strikes have been mercifully rare, says the expert, underlining two cases, when the MV Helt, an Estonian cargo ship, was hit and sunk off Odessa in March 2022 and when the bulk carrier Vysos was hit near the stern while en route to the Ismail port on the Danube. The expert notes that Russia has a number of military ways of launching mines in the Black Sea, from their Kilo-class submarines to their warships to aircraft and helicopters. But the problem with mine laying is that almost any vessel can do it, he adds. Russia's Black Sea mining campaign is not just a war crime, it also runs the risk of triggering a direct war with NATO. Turkey, Bulgaria and Romania are all NATO nations and the Grain Corridor lies within their territorial waters. The point is, what happens when a free-floating mine drifts into NATO territorial waters and sinks or damages a ship there? That is a NATO Article 5 situation. The Alliance members are required to respond to such an attack as if it were an attack on them all. It's only a matter of time before Russian mining causes a major incident which could escalate. Israeli military vehicles and a helicopter were seen on Tuesday at Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Earlier Tuesday the Israeli military warned several southern Lebanese communities near the border to leave their homes, shortly after starting what it called a limited operation against Hezbollah targets. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced. The Israeli army has been carrying out secretive ground operations to destroy Hezbollah infrastructure in Lebanese villages close to the border for the past year, military spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said Tuesday. Hagari said that the current ground maneuvers in Lebanon are an expansion of the previous year's operations. He said that troops destroyed more than more than 700 Hezbollah sites, including tunnels carved deep into the hillside. They included separate rooms for storing weapons and what seemed to be bedrooms outfitted with mattresses. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since October 8, the day after Hamas sent fighters into Israel and sparked the war in Gaza. It's been almost a year since some 250 people were abducted from Israel, and friends and family are worried about their loved ones as attention turns away from hostages and north toward Lebanon.